Welcome to a 360 degree passenger ride video in the BMW X1. Let's go, this is the automatic, though it has the longest gear selector of any automatic. But hopefully you didn't look down there when I was caressing the, the knob, a bit weird. Anyway, so the old BMW X1 was rear wheel drive. This one is based on the mini platform. So it's, well, most of them are four wheel drive, but the very entry level 118D is available as front wheel drive. Got all kinds of stuff falling about a fork. Great. Anyway, so this X1, yeah, it might not be rear wheel drive, but it still feels sporty. It feels like a BMW. So they managed to make their cars just have that this well sense that you you can feel exactly what they're doing. They are engaging cars, they are fun cars to drive, and this is no exception. I mean it's not a barrel of laughs, but as these kind of premium small SUVs go, it is the sharpest handling and the most fun to drive. It's comfy too. So it's comfy because I have got, if you look on here, I've got the one with the adaptive dampers that it says comfort on it. And it's more comfortable than the old X1, but still, if you don't have the adaptive dampers, it can feel too bumpy, especially around town. It's a bit fidgety. So bear that in mind if you're thinking about buying one of these cars. In terms of town driving, if you look, you'll see. Brilliant view out, nice low dash, huge windscreen. You do get a bit of a blind spot from this pillar down here, but it's not too bad. Out the back, the rear pillar, bit of a blind spot as well. So spin the camera around, well, spin your phone around to look. Yeah, a bit of a blind spot. And the back window, it's an all right size, but on the whole, it's quite easy to navigate around town. And that agility of the car does help when zipping through traffic. Now, in terms of cruising on the motorway, it's comfy, it does a good job of ironing out those undulations in the motorway, but speed, you get quite a lot of noise from those tires, you probably hear them already. I'm gonna take it through a twisty section of our course. Now I've got the eight speed automatic gearbox and it's brilliant. It's always in the right gear, put it to manual, use these pedals, put the car into sports mode. Come on, sport driving. Yes, that's what we need from our mini SUV. And it grips, it goes round, come on. This particular car is the it's the 25D, so it's got something like 230 horsepower from its two litre diesel. I'm gonna stop that moving around, it's really doing my head in. Why have I got a plastic fork? Like I was saying. Fork off! Just fork off! I'm gonna put it around my bum. Ah, that hurts. I'm just gonna keep it. No, no, no. Anyway, yeah, so it's got 230 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 6.6 .6 seconds, and it should do 56 miles per gallon, according to BMW, but I got more like 39. But yeah, it's blooming fast, this engine. You don't need it. Just get the 118D. It's quick enough. We'll do about, well, according to BMW again, 68 miles per gallon. And yeah, that's the one you want. You can get a two litre petrol. Don't bother with that. Doesn't suit the car. The rest of it, look at it. The design is lovely. The space in the back is huge, if you can see it. This car is well kitted out, though it is 42 grand. The starting price is actually 27. And yeah, it's loaded, like I say, fully kitted out. You've got the widescreen sat nav, which looks lovely and is dead easy to use. Zoom in when I say, that's it, that's better timing. Okay, so there you go. Hope you enjoyed this 360 degree passenger ride. And if you want more content on this car, just click up there to follow the link. So yeah, thanks for watching.